Hey guys, it's Roxanne, and I'm going to do a little rundown of the 10 doomsday scenarios that never happened. Um, I'm getting this off of the Ripley's Believe It or Not on July 22nd, 2020. As the great alt-rock band R.E.M. sang, it's the end of the world as we know it, and I feel fine. Turns out there have been many times in the past when the people of Earth were convinced that the end of the world was about to occur, and it actually scared the bejesus out of them. Even in the years before Christ, there are records of people predicting the end of the the end of times, if by weather sickness or otherworldly means the human race has always been fascinated by and has taken quite a few guesses at how the world will come to an end thankfully they've all been wrong here are 10 of the most famous guesses that again thankfully did not come true number one The Stolfer Flood of 1524. Johannes Stolfer, a German mathematician and astronomer, predicted a world catalysm on February 20th, 1524. How? He said a flood was going to engulf the world and people freaked. Boat businesses boomed as the most popular pamphlets carried Stouffer's message. When the day arrived, it began to drizzle, and in Germany, people rioted rioted as they tried to board a three-story ark that had been built on the Rhine. Hundreds were killed. After the disaster, Stouffer reportedly called for a mulligan saying his calculations were incorrect. The correct end of the world, again due to a massive flood, would be 30 years later. But of course, he was wrong then too. Number 2. Judgment Day of 1780 A Harper's Magazine story, 100 years after the fact, described it best. Birds went to roost. Crocs crowed at midnight excuse me birds went to roost cocks crowed at midday as at midnight and the animals were plainly terrified the people were scared too it was 9 a.m. may 19th 1780 and new england was plunged into darkness a strange mix of fog and forest fires caused dark clouds to blot out the sun, blot out the sun. But the people of the day were convinced the end was drawn nigh. Reportedly, people filled the streets with screams and cries. It lasted until midnight when the clouds parted and the stars were visible again. Nearby practitioners of the ultra-conservative Shaker religion an offshoot of the Quakers, seized the opportunity and, for the next 26 months, recruited new members who were scared straight by the dark day. Number 3. Halley's Comet of 1910 In 1910, when Halley's Comet was making its most recent appearance, as it does every 75 to 76 years, some people lost their collective minds. A few writers in the United Kingdom claimed it was a sign that Germany was about to invade, and scientists in Chicago announced they'd found a poisonous gas called cyogen in in the comet's tail. The New York Times even said that a French astronomer named Camille Flammarion predicted the gas would impregnate the atmosphere and possibly snuff out all life on the planet. People rushed to buy gas masks and built safe rooms. Others, unconcerned about the predictions, held roof parties. And of course, when the comet 
passed, no one was harmed. The Christ Kingdom Prophecy of 1914 Number 4 The year 1914 was a special one for the Jehovah Witnesses Jehovah Witness religion. The Christian offshoot was founded in the 1870s and had always predicted that 1914 would be the fateful year that Christ and his kingdom would return to earth. Of course, that also meant that that also meant the world would come to an end. Door to door went the witnesses Faithful warning what a bloody end was imminent. And, as all of these stories do, 1914 came and went with no apocalypse. However, Archduke Fernandan was assassinated, which led to the start of World War I. So there's that. Number 5. Heaven's Gate in 1997. Heaven's Gate was a cult founded by Marshall Applewhite, and they had some serious out-there beliefs. At the center of their religion was the belief that aliens would come to our planet riding in a UFO in the tail of the Hale Bop Comet, which was set to pass Earth in 1997. They felt these aliens would wipe our planet clean and transport their souls to the next life. Tragically, they made their own prediction come true. 39 39 of the cult members took part in one of the worst mass suicides in U.S. history as the comet passed by without further incident. Number 6. Anytime Pat Robertson predicted anything, 1982, 2006, and 2010. I guarantee by the end of 1982, there is going to be a judgment on this world. That's what TV evangelist and former Republican presidential candidate Pat Robinson said in 1980 on his show, The 700 Club. Um, it didn't happen. Again, in 2006, he predicted a similar calamity, saying God told him the world would be devastated by giant tsunamis. Nope. And again in 2008, he said that by 2010, society would experience a stock market crash and worldwide violence. Well, if he keeps going, he's bound to know it sometime, right? Number 7, Y2K in 2000. As far back as 1984, tech geeks predicted that because of a computer coding error on January 1st, 2000, all technology worldwide would come to a halt, sending us all back to a version of the Stone Age. See, in those days, computers were tracking dates in two digits. 1998 was 98, 1984 was 84, etc. When 2000 rolled around, they were all going they were all going to think it was 1900 not 2000 and apparently this would cause mass chaos the movie office space explains it very well as the year 2000 loomed people filled out more and ma- excuse me people flipped out more and more Reg- religious followers supposed this could be the rapture or some version of the apocalypse People stocked up on food, water, and gasoline. Then the ball dropped on Times Square like normal. Nothing happened, and everyone went about their lives. Everyone went ab- about their everyday lives. Number eight, the Big Bang of 2009. If you've ever watched the episode, an episode of the Big Bang Theory, you may have heard of CERN in Geneva, Geneva Switzerland, One character on the show went to study there for a while. There in Geneva, the European Organization for Research created the Large Hadron Colder, 
a particle acceleration that would allow scientists to study the smallest known particles. However, the process of colliding these particles, also known as hadrons, frightened people around the world. Some thought this process could create a black hole that would open over Switzerland and swallow up the entire world. In 2008, one group of independent scientists even tried to sue to stop this experiment from happening. It didn't work, and in 2009, the colliding, the colluding went forward. They've been doing it ever since, and no black holes have formed yet. Number 9. Harold Camping's Rapture in 2011 Harold Camping, a radio preacher, had it all figured out using numerology and readings of the Bible. He'd interpreted that the rapture would occur on May 21, 2011. Then 89 years old, Camping was so confident he announced the predictions across his airwaves and instructed his disciples to spread the word worldwide. Once again, God did not send God did not spirit those worthy followers to heaven. Assuming most people just decided to make plans to go to the lake to celebrate Memorial Day 2011, then camping announced the rapture would instead be October 21st. That was strike two, and people just went on making plans for Halloween. And number 10, the Mayan calendar prediction of 2012. Based on the supposed end or resetting of the Mayan calendar, many thought the world would also end in 2012, specifically on December 21st, 2012. In 2009, a movie depicted the idea, and as early as one year before that, news services started running stories about the supposed end of the world. Where did the idea co even come from? In the 1960s, a stone tablet was found that said a Mayan god would return to the end of the would return at the end of the final or 13th period called Bacton of their calendar. Other archaeologists cited a second reference to the December 21st, 2012 date found on a brick in their rooms. That's all it took. Bloggers, religious zealots, conspiracy theorists, and amateur sleuths spread the, world, spread the word. The world was ending in 2012. Instead, Mexico's tourism industry spiked, as did interest in the Mayan culture. And that 12, 2012 movie, John Cusack aside, it's pretty ridiculous. by Ryan Clark